the objective of Murray International is to grow capital and grow income over the long term. And that allows us to invest globally in bonds and equities. The trust's investment process is to try and build a diversified portfolio by picking stocks, looking at companies from a bottom-up basis and trying to find 50 good businesses around the world that will give us the diversification to reduce risk but also the opportunity to grow capital and income. There isn't any real typical position for the trust because of the investment mandate flexibility. It enables us to move from bonds to equities or back again depending on valuation. So it really depends what time in the cycle we're at and where the opportunities lie as to how the portfolio actually looks. My international's portfolio has been defensively positioned since 2010 when we reduced exposure to cyclicals and industrials because of concerns over future profitability. Um, that defensive position has stood the trust in good stead during some difficult times, especially in 2011 during a down year. And as long as valuations continue to be as extended as they are just now, then we will continue to be defensive and continue to focus on capital preservation. The expectation and outlook for investment returns over the long term is probably the most difficult question to answer because different shareholders will have different expectations from what they get from the investment. Some are looking for capital gain, some are looking for capital preservation, and most will probably be looking for income growth. So we're trying to manage all these expectations uh, with a view towards decent returns over the long term.